Good morning, good evening. This is day six of the 40 days of prayer. Once again, I'm Pastor Ryland Quarte of the Ghani Heights Seventh-day Adventist Church. And this I'm, is? I am Elder Francis Bolaris of the Seventh-day Adventist Church here in the Ghani Heights. Amen. And so, Elder Francis, uh, what is our topic for today? Oh, Pastor, the topic is a great topic. It's the fruit of the Spirit and the wise virgins. Amen. Amen. And so, before that, why don't we go ahead and pray, and then we can go straight into the reading? Yes, let us pray. Father in heaven, Lord, I want to thank you for this Sabbath or Saturday, Lord, and thank you for this time to be able to come together and just pray and lift up mm. the 40 days of prayer, day six today. Amen. Lord, may your spirit be with us, open our hearts and our minds to your uh, holy word and to the understanding of what we're going to learn in the prayer portion of the fruit of the spirit mm. and the wise amen. virgins. We invite you and we thank you in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. All right. So let's go ahead and start the reading okay so day six today the fruit of the spirit and the wise virgins jesus gave a parable describing 10 virgins this is coming from matthew 25 verses 1 to 12 the foolish virgins in the parable are not ready when the bridegroom comes and are told by him i know you not mm -hmm. matthew 25 12 these foolish virgins do not have the extra oil that the wise virgins have. Mm -hmm. This oil represents the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Ellen White described the foolish virgins in the following way. The name foolish virgins represents the character of those who have not the genuine heart work wrought by the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. The coming of Christ does not change the foolish virgins into wise ones. Mm -hmm. This is coming from the Advent Re Review and Herald. Sabbath Herald, August 19, 1890. Mm -hmm. Ellen White wrote, went on to write, the class represented by the foolish virgins are not hypocrites. Mm -hmm. They have a regard for the truth. They have advocated the truth. They have attracted to those, they are attracted to those who believe the truth, mm -hmm. but they have not yet yielded themselves to the Holy Spirit's working. The class represented by the foolish virgins have been content with a superficial work. Mercy. Ooh. They do not know God. Their services to God degenerates into the form. Christ's Object Lessons, page 411. Going on to the next paragraph, it says, The wise virgins, wise virgins have the extra oil, which is the baptism of the Holy Spirit. As we have seen in previous days, devotionals it is through the baptism of the holy spirit that christ lives most fully in the believer only as christ lives in the believer will the christian have his character the fruit of the spirit ellen white clearly con connected the oil in this parable with the character of christ in the following statement now is the time to entreat that souls shall not only hear the word of god but without delay secure oil in their vessels and their lamps let me make sure that our readers or our viewers can also Read it. Follow along. Follow along. Yes. <laughs> Please follow along. That oil is that righteousness of Christ. It represents character, and character is not transferable. No man can secure it for dun, dun, dun. another. Another. Ooh. Uh, which we'll probably talk about a little bit later. Yes, but yes. Each must contain for himself a character purified from every stain of sin. Testimonies to ministers and gospel workers, page 233 and 34. The character of Christ, which is the fruit of the Spirit, is constantly seen in the life of the wise virgins. Concerning this, Ellen White wrote, All right, She wrote, All true obedience comes from the heart. Mm. It was heart work with Christ, and if we consent, he will so identify himself with our thoughts and mm. aims. So blend our hearts and minds into conformity to his will, mm -hmm. that when obeying him, we shall be but carrying out our own impulses. The will refined and sanctified will refine its highest delight in doing his service. Amen. When we know God as our, it is our privilege to know him. Mm -hmm. Our life will be a life of continual obedience, continually manifesting the fruit of the spirit Amen. through an appreciation of the character of Christ through communion with God. Sin will become hateful to us, Amen. according to Desires of Ages, page 668. Wow. Amen. Yes. 
The wise virgins obey from the heart, which means they don't simply try to be loving, be patient, be temperate, because they know that that is evidence of having the spirit and its fruits in one's life. Know the word fruits reveals their source. Christ said, I am the vine, ye are the branches. Mm -hmm. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Uh, ye can do nothing. John 15, 5. You see, the fruits are produced naturally in one's life as the result of abiding in Christ, mm -hmm. having a living connection with him, just as the branch has a living connection with the vine. All right. So concerning this living connection, Ellen White clearly wrote, the spirit that reveals also works in him the fruit of righteousness. Amen. Christ is in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life. Amen, Amen. Huh, Pastor? Amen. It's coming from John 4.14. 4, he is the branch of the true vine mm -hmm. and bears riches, rich clusters of fruit as to the glory of God. What the character of the fruit born, the, the fruit of the Spirit is love, not hatred, Amen. joy, not discontent and mourning, peace, not irrita irritation, anxiety, and uh, manufactured trials. Mm -hmm. It is long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance, mm -hmm. according to Galatians 5, 22 and 23, and Gospel Workers, page 287. Mm -hmm. Impress upon all the necessary of the baptism of the Holy Spirit the sanctification of the members of the church so that they will be living, growing, fruit-bearing trees of the Lord's planting. Mm -hmm. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 6, page 86. We must have a living connection with God. Amen. That living connection. Baptism of the Holy... Oops, sorry. We must be clothed with the power from on high by the baptism of the Holy Spirit that we may reach a higher standard for there is help for us in no other way, according to Advent uh, Review and Sabbath Herald, April 5th, 1982. In order to become wise virgins, Christians must let Jesus into their life, Revelation 3, verse 20. This happens only through daily receiving the baptism of the Holy Spirit, 1 John 3, 24. Ellen White clearly understood that the Holy Spirit brings the presence of Jesus into our lives. All right. And then moving upward, the work of the Holy Spirit is imme immeasurably great. It is from this source that power and efficiency comes to the worker of God, and the Holy Spirit is the comforter as the personal presence of Christ to the soul. Advent, Advent Re Review and Sabbath Herald, November 29, 1892. It should be very clear from the previous days that we've had in the past and today's devotional that God's law Christ's character, the fruit of the Spirit, and the oil of the wise virgins describe the same experience. Mm -hmm. Those with God's law written in our in on their heart have Christ's character in their life, Amen. which is manifested in the fruit of the Spirit being seen in their life. Mm -hmm. This is why we, those who give the three angels' message of Revelation chapter fourteen and are ready for Christ's second coming, are described in the following way. Mm -hmm. These are they which have not defiled with women, mm -hmm. for they are virgins, mm -hmm. verse 4. These are the wise virgins that have not been defiled by the harlot Babylon mm -hmm. and her daughters, Revelation 17. They have remained loyal to their Lord and Savior, Amen. Jesus Christ. Only through the daily baptism of the Spirit can this take place. Nothing but the baptism of the Holy Spirit can bring up the church to its right position mm -hmm. and prepare the people of God for the fast approaching conflict. Mm -hmm. Manuscripts re release, volume two, page 30. Amen. Wow, Pastor. Amen. I mean, there's a lot to <laughs> So much. And, uh, you know, that's where definitely we encourage you to, you know, find a church member or someone, a family member, someone to to do the 40 days with, you know, yes. you know, to, to dialogue and be able to share the ideas. And yes. 
Prayer is very important. Amen. And when we have that prayer connection, and as you go daily through the 40 days, I, I pray, our prayer is that you will continue to connect with Jesus Christ Amen. through his Holy Spirit, and that you will get the fruit Amen. as well as the oil. Amen. All right, Pastor, we have some personal reflection and discussion questions. Yep. Um, I liked number one. Okay, so let's go ahead and answer that. The question is, what is the oil that the wise virgins have? Mm. We uh, did find out the answer. Uh, let me let me just make a wild guess in case someone here was not listening. Okay, is it literal oil? You know, oh. like propane gas or something. Is it the literal? So you know, when you look at the story in in Matthew twenty five, in order to have a a, a lamp, mm -hmm. you had to have oil. Mm. Without that lamp, you can't start the fire. Mm -hmm. So the wick would be dry. Mm. You could burn the wick, but it won't stay lit it's mm -hmm. gonna actually go out mm -hmm. but with oil it stays lit as well it takes its time as it burns and it's bright mm -hmm. so the oil in in discussion here is the holy spirit amen so the thing about it pastor is it says that the other five unwise they were christians they actually mm -hmm. followed jesus they mm -hmm. did things that's right you know and uh in their mind I think they believe that they should have been able to follow the bridegroom. <laughs> right, right. But he said in the beginning, I don't know you. Verse mm. 12, I don't know you. That is the worst mercy thing God can say to each and every one of us. Right. Uh, it also reminds me of Matthew chapter 7 when God says, uh, away from me, you right. will practice iniquity. Right. Uh, like, Lord, Lord, when did uh, you know when do we know do you. these things? And yeah. I do not know you. Uh, yeah. And so you and I uh, out there doing this uh, 40 days of prayer, mm -hmm. we want to make sure we have that oil. And that oil mm -hmm. is the Holy Spirit. Amen. And it says in what we read tonight or today is that without the Holy Spirit, you and I cannot right. connect with Jesus. That's right. And so the Holy Spirit is very important. Amen. So that's what that oil was. The mm -hmm. oil that the virgins have, the, the wise virgins. Right was the Holy Spirit. The other virgins did not have the Holy Spirit. They looked like they did, but they right. didn't. Right. I, and again, it comes back to that whole point is where, you know, you, you, we know what the Bible says about the church in the last yes. days, the Laodicean church, that, yes. you know, I'm neither hot nor cold. And yes. I mean, when you think about it, that's what the foolish virgins were, where they yes. did not grow in, in their, their walk, being baptized daily yes. in the Holy Spirit. It's seeking him and... and Sadly, even though they they profess to to, to know, know the bridegroom, yes. I think you know. And it, this is a, a message that's very it's very, a very somber message that's for right. any Christian. Uh, it could be you listening right. or watching today. That's right. Uh, it could be any of our family members, our friends, people right. who profess to be Christians. Right. Um, I mean, it's it's there, and God puts it in the Bible for a reason. Right. It's a warning, an admonition. So, or a warning so that we can know whether we be right. in the spirit. If That's we're right. not in the spirit, if we're not producing the fruit of the spirit from right. Jesus uh, in Galatians chapter 5, 22 and 23, mm -hmm. then we need to really examine ourselves. The Bible right. even says, examine yourself to yes. be, to see if you be in the faith. Amen. And mm -hmm. so you and I, my brothers and sisters, those of us who are searching, those of us who are longing, mm -hmm. maybe you need to sit down. You know, sometimes pastor, this, this quiet prayer time does help a lot. Amen. I think that people who are not having their prayer life um, on the side, mm -hmm. the, not that they forget God, but we get too busy right. with the world. And, and we know that's one of Satan's uh, this, uh, yes. tactics is if uh, to make you so busy that you don't have time for God, right? Yes. I must admit, I'm going to confess to you when I when I pray is when I'm on my way to work. When I jump in right. the car, I'm, yeah. and I you're turn off prayer. the music, I'm driving, right. and I'm just talking to God, mm -hmm. and I'm just praying. But, you know... It's something that we all need right. to to do. Right. I, I really think that those of us who do not pray and, and speak to the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, it, we're going to, it's going to be a disconnect. Right. right. And we want to have that Holy, oil, Holy Spirit oil connection. Amen. 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 So those of you out there listening, we want you to grow in Jesus. We Amen. want you to have the fruit of the spirit. We want you to have the oil that the wise virgins had. Amen. Did you have a second question? No, I, honestly, we, I, I would say we encourage, you know, this now, you know, yes, we're saying these, we would hope that you would be taking the time to go to the next questions yes. and discussing and dialoguing. Uh, obviously it's not for our, but it's you, we, yes. you know, you as a listener, the, yep. you, you as the viewer, uh, just remember that the Holy Spirit wants to connect with Amen. you and I. Uh, he wants to be with us, but we need to let him in. Amen. Amen. We need to ask him to fill our, our lives 
and our thoughts and our hearts. That's what we read. Right. That's today. right. And I see that it, it seems so simple. And honestly, it is. Mm -hmm. You and I must be obedient. It says mm -hmm. we have to be obedient to, to the Lord. Right. Uh, truly obedient, not just half-heartedly obedient. <laughs> right, right. And therefore, if we give ourselves to the whole Lord, he will give us the, the Holy Spirit, the oil Amen. and Amen. the fruit. All right. With that said. Uh, well, you know, brother, I, I think definitely. Uh, why don't we go ahead and, and do the prayer focus? You yes. Know? And and if you can say a prayer and I will say a prayer. And for our, our listeners, viewers, obviously, uh, things to pray about. Brother, yes. if you can let so, them know. So our prayer focus today, we want to ask God to fill us, fill mm -hmm. you with his Holy Spirit. Amen. The oil. Also, if you're in church and you're one of those members that are constantly lost or you don't feel like you're not doing anything in the church for God, or if you maybe you're, you're in a, a, a situation where you don't know what to do in church, mm. ask God to revive you and to help revive your church, especially Amen. if your church is one of those churches that are either uh, neither hot nor cold. Yes, yes. And we're Laodicea, right? We're lukewarm. Mm. We want you to be prepared and the coming uh, return of our Savior Amen. is soon. And so we want you to prepare. We want you to bring other families and friends to the, to the Lord. We want you to be ready. Amen. Second one, third one here is to lead you to be among the wise virgins. Yeah. Amen. I want to be, be part of that group. Amen. Amen. You be part of, that group? of course. You know, Amen. I want to be ready when the bride comes. Hey, yes. we were there faithfully we wanna, waiting. We want to make sure that we are not uh, those caught without God's oil or Holy Amen. Spirit. And the last one is to bless those on your prayer. I hope, my brothers and sisters, that you have a prayer list Amen. with specific people right. that are burning in your heart and your and in your mind Amen. that you want God to save. Amen. With that said, I'm going to start with prayer and I'll ask Pastor to end with prayer. Sure. Let's pray. Father in heaven, Lord, I want to thank you for this time and opportunity to learn about day six, Amen. the fruit of the spirit. Yes, Lord. And the wise virgins, Lord. Lord, it's so wonderful to know that your Holy Spirit is freely given, but mm -hmm. we must accept. And only must we accept, we must also wholeheartedly obey. Mm -hmm. And so, when you say go, we go. When mm -hmm. you say stay, we stay. Lord, it's, I pray for my brothers and sisters listening that they would start a prayer life with you mm -hmm. and that connection so that you will not say that you don't know us, mm -hmm. but that we yes, can Father. hear your voice and follow you to the end. Yes, We know your soon coming is coming, Lord, and so we ask for preparation. We ask for your Holy Spirit, the oil that we need so much. Also Amen. pray, Lord, that you would revive your church. Yes, Lord. And Lord, I just want to thank you for the opportunity to come together as a family and pray and lift up these things of the heart. This I ask in the holy and precious name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father God Almighty, Lord, echoing the same prayer as my brother here, Lord. And Lord God, you know all who are going to be praying as well, Lord. And Father God, just... Again, we want to ask for a revival of the church, but also a revival in our, our lives, Father, to have this deep yearning and desire to want to know you and, and to grow in our in our walk with you, O oh Lord. And Father God, we want to ask that you help us to, to cling to you, Lord, to seek the baptism of the Holy Spirit each and every day, to, to always daily surrender to you, Lord, and, and to be one of the wise virgins waiting for you, where you, you see us, Lord, patiently and, and persevering that no matter what came or what, what happens, that we still clung to you no matter what, Lord. Father God, we want to ask for those individuals in our minds that, you know, who, who we pray about, um, whether it be a, a, a child, a, a brother, a sibling, a brother, a sister, or yes. a family member, or, or someone in our neighborhood, our coworker, our classmate. Lord, you know exactly who is on our mind when when we're praying at this moment and father we want to ask for your intercession in their lives that truly you're able to do something very special when when people are being prayed for lord you intercede in such a special way and so father god we just want to ask once again for your inter intercession at the moment lord we know that we love you so much and we praise you for your everlasting goodness and may your will always be done in our lives we love you, Lord, and pray all these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for joining us for another day of the 40 days of prayer. Amen. God bless.